uh, there's someone else who identifies as a realist. Social media influencer Juliet Duma, popularly known as Julie Cassie. Now, um, she's there. She says she wants to, uh, she talks about the things that you, she talks about her truth or truth that people don't really want to talk about. <laughs> it is great to have you. You're welcome. Thank Pardon you. Pardon me. Okay, so I, I love the smile on your face. And you say, uh, uh, describe yourself again. You are a realist, yeah? Yeah. But how would you fully describe yourself? Um, describing myself as a realist, number one, comes with like, um, whatever it is that uh, uh, being a realist uh, talks about, mm. personally and as a writer, mm. is what I identify as, mm. okay? It's just more like asking me, what is a realist? You go to the dictionary, what is a realist? A realist mm. is somebody who accepts things the way they are. Mm. It's, that is what describes my person. So it's not half full or half empty, it's nah. just half? No, nah, no. Nah. That is realist, right? You're not over, you're not uh, optimistic, you're not pessimistic. I am just not optimistic, I'm not pessimistic, I'm not on this side, I'm mm. not, I'm for everybody. I'm just straight up. <laughs> you go be politician, <laughs> you talk. Yeah, for everybody, for nobody. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm just true to life. I'm uh, just true to life. Hmm. I, and and yeah. how did you develop this way of thinking? How did it come to you? Yeah, I think... It's just from um, self, uh, self, um, how do you call it now? Self-awareness or something? No, not even self-awareness. I think it's like self, th this is what they call it. Self, mm. you know, when you realize yourself, self, um, mm. I, can't, I can't remember. Yeah, but it's just like you understanding who you are. Mm. Okay. Are there any experiences that formed this perception of yourself? I don't. Are there things that you, maybe your own experiences that made you start thinking this way? Maybe life experiences. I don't think so. I think mm. this is just oh. imbued. Mm. Because it's... Or how, well, I would say, how did you, when did you start developing this thing to be a realist? Long time ago. Okay, what, what, you don't know what necessitated that mind, that, uh, should I say now, that, 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 that mindset or that paradigm, what necessitated it? That's what I'm telling you, mm -hmm. okay? There's, there's this post where I talk about being a realist is almost like a mindset. Okay. It's something that sometimes you can't even know how you got there, but you're just there. Mm. Because that is just the way you choose to handle things. Okay. That is just the way you handle things. That is just the way you find yourself handling things. Okay. So it's not like somebody told you or you just said that, oh, I want to be speaking the truth. You just find out that when somebody is saying something that is not like straightforward, it, it just itches you. It just makes you feel very uncomfortable. And mm. that's when you realize that you've, you know who you are. Like, this mm. is who I am. I just want to be identified with the truth, and that's just it. All right. Uh, in one of your posts, you've, you've made quite a lot of controversial posts, but you spoke about pretty girls' privilege at some particular yes, point in time. I did. You do are quite a pretty lady. And uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, when I made that post, it's more like me trying to remind women majorly mm. that they are heading towards, like, you know, you know when you blindfold somebody mm. and you tell them to run? Mm. The tendency that they run into a wall is very high. Mm. Yeah, true. Definitely. But they're running. Yeah. But the tendency they will run to a wall is very high. And you know, when they run into a wall, it becomes a disaster. Okay? Now, it's more like you're moving, but where you're moving to is going to be very chaotic when you get there. Mm. That's exactly what pretty privilege is. Like, I described it as a necessary evil. Because pretty privilege in a girl's life is everything. In the first place, mm. when you're pretty, mm. you would enter places you would never think you would enter. Mm. You would roll with people that you never thought. You would roll with. You would roll with. And then it would give you this sense of, oh my God, I am that girl. This thing is 100% fact. Do people disagree with this? Well, going by my posts, yeah, like yeah, statistics, yeah, yeah, let's go, yeah, let's go. I don't yeah. think people disagree with it. But I just think people forget it's majorly like forgetting okay yeah yes that this is there yeah? yes that, that this, this is, is there. there i understand yes all right there's one i did disagree with quite a lot that's when you spoke about marriage being um an achievement, an achievement. okay yeah, what are your thoughts on that well when i said marriage is an achievement i totally totally described what i meant okay people want to go by dictionary meaning i understand that perfectly you know achievement something you you it's 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 should i say subjective or yeah, it is it, it is, is, it is, it is. i get it but you cannot play about the family units 
Mm. You cannot underrate something that is celebrated in countries all over the world, in all culture, in all religion, and say it is not an achievement. Anything you put an effort to, the moment you put an effort to something, even if it wasn't an achievement when you eventually... But the moment you put an effort, for those checking the meaning of ad achievement, mm. I want them to check the meaning of effort. effort. The moment you put effort into something, it mm. becomes an achievement. Mm. Because if you don't see something as an achievement, you would not put in effort. Okay? okay? I try to make people understand that a lot more times the reason why people say something as big as being married is not an achievement is probably because of experiences, personal choices. Somebody can just be there, they've seen all the goodies of marriage and they're like, they don't want to get married and it's okay. Mm. But it doesn't make it less of an achievement for people who decide to do it. Mm. Because there's a lot of people, when you say, oh, I'm married, they'll be like, oh, it's not an achievement, it's not an achievement. Really? It's not an achievement? Are you playing? <laughs> Are you joking? Are you married? No. Okay. Uh, when do you plan to get married? I, how, do you, how do I expect to answer that question? <laughs> yes, because, uh, okay, <laughs> it's something you aspire to, right? Personally, because of your thoughts on marriage, you, you, want, you want to get married. You know, to funny thing. enough, when I say I am a real, like, we, you know, we talked about something yeah, here. Yeah. I am not optimistic. I am not pessimistic. Mm. I am just telling you exactly what How it is. is yeah. And people are like, oh, she's just to pick me. Oh, she's just trying to project at this thing. No, I'm not married. And the tendency that I'm going to marry is probably still 50-50. But okay. I'm not going to say it is not an achievement. I like that. I just like that. because. I think, I think from this part, from what you just said now, it makes me more attuned to what you're trying to say. Because yes. Yeah, yeah that, that even if you don't mind, whether you marry or not, doesn't take away the fact. It does not. Hmm, I like that. It I does like not. That. I like that. And uh, moving forward now, how would you describe yourself? Now, a lot of, for you to say something like this now, we had mentioned earlier that people like feminists might want to come against you and all of that. When it comes to the feminist movement, what are your thoughts on it? Well... I don't really have anything because I, my, my journey is definitely different from a feminist. You know, the truth is, we Nigerians in the first place, I think we have misinterpreted the meaning of feminism mm. at large. Mm. So it's not even about, I can't say I am a feminist by Nigerian standard. Mm. I can't say that. Mm. Because what I represent is totally different from the movements they are pushing. Mm. And I can tell you that from a realistic point of view, the only thing I can do in the feminism world is to tell them that this is your journey, you're probably taking a wrong route and this your journey is going to probably end up in a bad place. Okay, that is yeah. my only, I can only analyze, I can only analyze it. I when I talked about a message to feminist, uh, feminists, I made them understand that you people are shifting, no. Mm. The major purpose for this movement is for women to be able to sit or be able to hold positions that men have always held mm. and probably been qualified to hold over time for years now. Mm. So if you want to hold such position, you are going to be first, you're going to first be able to align in values. That's mm. first. Bring something to the Bring table. something to that fucking, uh, oh. <laughs> sorry for you. using that word. Yeah, I was getting into it. I get you, I get sorry Bring about something that. to that table. Mm. You're going to be able to match up. You can't just single out on some things though, just because you're a woman now. You know, there are some things that, oh, you want to be a man, you want to be on a man's level, but when it gets to actually doing things that men do, you want to make that excuse of being a woman. You won't, so... I like that, I like that. I like that. I wish we had more time, but we have so much to talk. You're quite an interesting personality, and uh, uh, kudos, kudos, kudos. Yeah, well done. Keep doing what you're doing. Well done. <laughs> Thank you.